Suzuki's GSX-R750 was one of the most popular superbikes of the 2000s, with a fantastic blend of athletic performance with handling to match. It features a 150 horsepower inline 4 motor combined with 167 kilos of dry weight. The bike is totally standard with standard gearing and has a manual gearbox, so let's get on into the footage. So as you can tell, 12 years on, the GSX-R is still epically fast. 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, 0 to 100 in 5.7 and 0 to 140 miles an hour in 10 seconds flat. These are all really good numbers. Comparable with pretty much any superbike out there and only loses out in the 140 test to the latest 1000cc superbikes. What the GSX-R does well is keeping that front wheel pretty much planted during the whole acceleration and the whole experience was very stable throughout. It's quite long geared too, meaning that we don't need to change up into second until about 70 to 80 miles an hour and 140 is done in just the first three gears. In this video there is a potential for a slightly quicker 0 to 60 time by carrying higher revs off the line as it does bog a little in the first gear but then again carrying more revs also runs the risk of wheeling which makes it slower and of course there's no electronics to keep it in check. It's a bit of a fine line with a peaky inline 4 but maybe with a little bit of practice I could knock a few temps off the time and then maybe further small gains by changing the gearing but we're pretty much into the small change here. On the whole the GSX-R750 is still a really fast motorcycle and can mix it with pretty much every new bike out there in 2020 with or without electronics. So really hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, please comment and like and subscribe to the channel and check out the products that we wear to protect us on test. We'll see you next time.